Welcome back. I'm Erica Arvold. This is Ann Chapman. We are casting directors. And here is a question about uh, self-tapes. How should I follow up or should I wait to follow up from a Disney audition for a feature film with the casting director? I submitted my self-tape 10 days ago. I think you just you don't, don't, you don't, don't follow up. You don't That's follow the up. The audition If you is had done. gotten the role yeah. or if you were being called in for a callback, there would have been no need to follow up. You would have gotten the call. Exactly. Exactly. So it is not the casting department's responsibility to let you know whether you are or are not in consideration. They will usually only let you or your agent know when you are in consideration. Mm -hmm. And that may be when you're in the mix with a few people, or that may even be literally not until you get an offer. And so I think the healthiest thing to do as an actor is you do your audition, that's your job, you submit it, it is over, you move on. And if you get a call after that, then that's very exciting. And of course there's nuances with availability and whatnot, so you do have to be conscious of that. But in terms of following up, did I get the part? How did I do? All of that stuff is not productive and it essentially wastes time and is not professional. But please be aware that we appreciate how much time and work you have put into your self-tape. And every time I click a button to invite someone in to self-tape, I know that you are jumping up to the challenge and either finding someone to put you on tape, some, someone to read with you, going somewhere to have your self-tape. So know that going in, that making the decision to ask you to self-tape is, um, and then that is the way that get it, of getting feedback. You've gotten through that round, but it is impossible to expect feedback from all of the self-tapes that we get. Absolutely, and we try, and I try, particularly um, agents will ask me, say it's a, a season of a television show, and I'll get agents saying, you know, I've had five actors tape frequently and multiple times, is there any way you could give me feedback and, um, and take your time? And then it might take me a month or two months, but at right. least I'm able to review the tapes and then I'll give specific feedback for them. And that's really the only professional case in which I'm really comfortable giving feedback. But if every single person called wanting feedback, like we, would not, we wouldn't have time to cast. No, and I, you know, I feel like in this day and age when so many people are putting themselves on self, are self taping for mm -hmm. a role, it's, it's almost too much. Mm -hmm. To be able to consider all of those people is a wonderful thing, but it's like this smorgasbord that you yeah. go to every single time. And I appreciate that there are businesses about self taping and people spend a lot of their time self taping. And I really appreciate what they're gonna go through to make that tape. So I wouldn't invite them in mm -hmm. uh, if I wasn't really interested in seeing what they were gonna do. Yeah, absolutely, it takes time watching the tapes. It, t it does, it does take time watching the tapes yeah. too. You're right. Cool, hopefully that answered your question.